Thank you, devs of Swords and Sandals Immortals. Thank you so much for letting me get to the controls, the settings, before the opening. Welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Swords and Sandals Immortals. This this is a pretty storied uh, game. Um, began as a kind of a flash game. Brings me right back to my, my armor games, congregate days, and uh, you know, of course, uh, Newgrounds. Anyway, Swords and Sandals, it's, it's got some, uh, there's, there's been quite a few of them. It looks, it looks really cool. It's a turn-based kind of strategy RPG with some roguelite features. It is the year 640 CM. Four decades have passed since the automatons, mysterious robotic aliens of unknown origin, left our world. For in just 300 days, he will return to Tritonia with destruction his only goal. So uh, right away, we've got we've got a myriad of choices for our character. We have a Sut Sut Sineops. I'll be I'll be blunt. I have not played any other Swords and Sandals games, but um, I'm happy to make this my first because it looks really cool. Human warrior from Braxis, Braxis, sprawling metropolis of commerce and industry. Um, I wonder how, how attached are we going to get to this character? Oh, that's interesting. Our height actually comes with mechanical differences. So we have less dodge with more height, but more parry. Sure, let's go with full parry. Why not? Select your character class. Warrior, wizard, bard, knight, rogue, priest. Again, a myriad of options. Or a warrior. I know, I know. Uh, people don't like uh, how I necessarily pick the sword and board boring kind of class they i think people would prefer i went with like a wizard or barter something with a little bit more flavor but i like to uh get my get my sea legs with something um basic so that i understand the mechanics enough that i can i can try something a little bit trickier maybe i'll i'll uh go for less a, a vitality and, and one more in defense oh can we go for no we can't okay ready I wish to save our world from the unimaginable evil, not for myself, but for others. Sure, why not? Let's let's be a complete nerd. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll gain some stars. Why not? Hail, citizen of Brandor. I am Fight Selector 386DX of the Automatons. We know you have traveled a long way to be here. Zephyrus versus the Bruce of the Lu Bruce the Useless. You can do this, Brucey Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This, it's got way more depth than I honestly had any reason to believe. Roll nine or higher to attack first. I did it. Okay, so walk backward, retreat from your enemy, walk forward, advance towards your enemy, power attack. Low hit chance, does 18 damage, high critical hit chance. Jump, okay, so we have, um, these all cost a certain amount of energy. A powerful kick that knocks your enemy back and stuns them for a turn. Let's do a warrior strike. Nice. Pants broken. <clears throat> Yo, I broke your pants, dude. Um, I'm gonna rest and let him come to me. I could do a walk forward. Will that use up a turn? Yes, it did, because he was able to attack me then. We'll do a... Uh, this only has a 32% chance of hitting. Can we use our... No, we can't use our warrior strike again. Quick attack. Why not? Done. I cannot be defeated. You, you defeated Bruce the Useless in four turns. You've defeated your first opponent. Congratulations. I'm already like 100% into this, I gotta say. Congratulations, you grow more powerful. Every step you take is leading you closer to victory. Defense and stamina, I think that that is a solid choice. Let's go for a good old fashioned axe. <sighs> 299 days until arrival. Are there really 300, like, levels in this game? Hail, friend. Stop a moment. Let me look upon you. Yes, it is there. I see brilliance, raw power, unlimited potential. Spend your gold with me, and we will save this world together. We want a cleaver, and we cannot afford it. Look at all these guys. Oh, my God. We got, like, edgelord wookies, and, uh... Oh, it's Bubble Buddy! Yo, Bubble Buddy, happy Leaf Erickson Day. Level two Sagan Blob Warrior from Tower of Sagan. Ready. Cannot use new skills coming soon. Okay. We'll use um we'll use our warrior strike again. Oh my god. I killed him in one hit. Uh we have enough to buy an axe now. 
So I shall. A fine choice. Let's do more stamina and we'll also do more strength. Uh, we will increase our damage done by the axe to help you become a better gladiator. Practice your fighting techniques. I'm your uh, sentient wooden battle dummy. Reputation gained with uh, sentient objects. Win three more battles to challenge the regional champion. I wonder if it would be better to uh, challenge a better uh, warrior. We are at 154 power. I assume that's what that means up there. So we could take on a level three warrior. I'm assuming you want to take on bigger challenges so that you can get more XP so that you can progress uh, uh, and accelerate your progression, right? I'm gonna go ahead and rest. He'll come forward. Can he attack as well? No, he can't. So then I'll use a medium attack. Parried. Oh, oh wow. Ouchies. Um, all right, now we'll use our warrior strike again. Nice, done. From battle to battle. Do you wish to rest until tomorrow? Tomorrow, fresh gladiators will arrive to fight. In three days, shops will be restocked. Oh, I see. So the day only progresses when we go to the campsite. Ouchies. Okay, that was our first loss of, oh, we, we parried, that's fine. That was our first uh, loss of, of uh, initiative. Critical. Do another medium attack. Done. It was a it was a level two dude. All right, so we could fight a level three dude, but that sounds kind of risky. So instead, I'm just gonna rest. I'm gonna level up. Let's do again some strength, and we'll do defense. Level up our axe mastery. Oh, that whelp Gilliam called me a layabout. Did he? Outrageous. I wonder if there's like cybernetics in this game. That would be really cool. I do know you can get like your limbs chopped off, or you can chop off someone else's limbs. And that will have an effect on the on the combat. By Sul, this forge is hot. All right, what can we buy? We can buy some armor. Can we? What can we forge though? That feature is coming soon. Okay, I understand. All right, we want some cut purse leggings. Take it. It's yours. Skellingtons. I probably should read through that information and maybe later it'll matter more when there's more abilities floating around. Ouchies, helmet broken. Beat. So, um, I guess we, do we get, we get our armor back? Today's fight at Willard Sound. You have won enough battles here to face the regional champion. Are you ready to face the regional champion? No. Uh, we gotta do a bit more grinding before I think that is viable. Nice. Plus two stars for getting a critical um, 20. Let's do, I'm just, I'm always gonna open with a warrior strike. It's just very, very good. Oh, you're 98% to level five. All right, not, still not ready, but let's take on a level four, dude. We should be exactly enough to fight them. Oh, that was bad. Oh, okay, that was just damage on our, on our armor, that's fine. So they do have some armor. Maybe we wanna do a quick attack. Yeah, that, that breaks their armor a little bit. Um, what does jumping do? Leap into the air in any direction. Swipe diagonally in a direction to jump. Oh, that was dumb. Let's do a power attack. Oh, parry. Ouchies. So we're taking actual damage now. Yes. They're naked now. So they will start to take actual damage. Oh, they parried. No. Oh, but we parried. Grievous! Oh, I chopped their leg off! Oh, we get health back from resting. So we don't want to let them rest as well. I cannot be defeated. Oh, they're dead. Is fatigued and yields to you after 13 turns. So we, we won. Nice. It is time to level up. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's take some t defensive techniques. Increasing our parry would be really nice. Um, we do have some more money. Let's see if maybe we can get a better weapon. It looks like no. So this this is this is the loop. We're we're fighting as champions, uh, and eventually we're grinding our way up enough and taking some risks to to try and like accelerate our advancement. Uh, and eventually we're fighting the regional champion. I don't think that the game is going to end there. It obviously ends when we fight the uh, star um, star lord champion or whatever. <laughs> Oh, nice, we can kill these guys in one hit now. Nice. Easy peasy. We should be level high enough level to take on a level five this turn, so we could we could try that. We'll we'll try another jump. Uh, it does it's that's really bad. 
Nice. We got a good attack there. We're doing well. We did level, but I think we should keep going. I'm not honestly sure uh, if we do, do we like, I wonder if we get more experience or if when we hit the level cap, we, we just kind of cap out. We can't gain anything else. We, we need to rest at some point. Okay, we did it. I guess we don't get any experience, but we do get more gold. So that's worthwhile. Kill. Oh, they parried me. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. There it is. I, sh I didn't check if we can uh, buy some new equipment. Oh, we can. Oh, look at this stuff. Level 7 shoulder guard. I could definitely see myself just like in middle school or like high school in my lunch break playing this, playing this game. Or, you know, during computer class, of course. At a certain point, I wonder if it's even worth fighting the level 2 dudes. You get to be so powerful that it's it's just gonna feel like a uh, time spent. Like, how much XP are we getting now? Enemy was too low level for you to gain XP. There it is. I think we did gain some money, though. So, still, objectively, it is worth fighting them. Ooh! Oh, they did a frost attack. Oh, now they've, they've torched me. Well, you know, you know what every good gladiatorial uh, story needs is a good old-fashioned montage. Maybe we'll we'll montage a little bit uh, and see see uh, what uh, the regional champion looks like. local entertainer who boasts of being the largest man in Brandor despite his diminutive stature. He possesses luxuriant hair and something something it's all gone. Champion of Willard Sound, Huge Charles. <laughs> oh, he's small, yeah. Oh no. They just burped on me as well. That man, that was a lot of damage. Parried. Ouchies. Our armor. Stamina regeneration is doubled. We're actually doing damage now. Nice. We have a chance here. We're gonna have to rest. Let this be it. No! Warrior strike. Let this be the end. Oh no! 10 damage. This could be it. Yes! Yo, we did it! Yo! All hail Zephyrus, champion of Willard Sound. Claim two rewards. Uh, plus one attack for sure. Uncommon level six club, main hand. Plus ten sonic damage. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have to take that. Look at you, original champion. Huge, huge Charles has been defeated at your hands. Travel via the overworld map is now available. Look, Let's look at the world. Wow. There is a lot of world. Dungeons as well. I'm assuming travel is going to take time, in which case, yeah, four days. So that means we're that's going to eat away from our the time it takes. Shackleford was once home to the great Trebador, rogue swordsman, and legendary defender of Brandor. We can go on an adventure. Let's let's see what an adventure is. Strong enough to haul it down here before the building collapses. I will reward you handsomely if you fetch it for me. Yeah, do it. Covering your head with wet rags. You head towards the distillery, though you quickly spot the barrel in question. It, two burly fellows assist you in lowering the barrel to the ground and away to safety. The adventure is over. That's a curious thing that we just did. So let's see if we... Oh yeah, we have a different kind of encampment. Oh, we, maybe we do do uh, talents? That feature is coming soon. Reset your character talent trees? No. Oh, so that's, that costs stars. Okay, alchemize. Through the arts of alchemy, I can transmute your stars into gold. Do we have better weapons yet? Yes, we do. Oh, we're at 410 power. Wow. We should be able to fight all of these guys. In theory. And he electrified me. He's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. We got defeated. Wow. Your day ends in defeat. You retire to the campfire. Okay, all right, so that is the punishment for defeat. You lose the day, you don't get to fight anymore, and, uh, you know, we get we get a little bit closer to uh, star, star Bound. 
Oh, we're poisoned. Whoa, what was that? Oh, wow, there's a there's some wild animations going on right now. I think I'll do I'll do one more day. I think you you get the idea of uh, what the gameplay loop of this is. You gain two stars overnight. Nice. I, I wish I had maybe more to do with my stars. Not sure really what I should be doing. I guess I could alchemize. We don't have to al alchemize all of them. We could just do half of them. Sure. And then basically buy a ton of weapons. With all this hammer. I'm not, I'm not going to use it again. Wow, the thunder is really aggressive, huh? <laughs> Likely there is some better armor though. Yeah, let's let's get let's get as much armor as we can. Plus one to strength. Plus one to strength. Uh, our burly cut purse braces of the boar are really good. So let's let's keep those. The art the the lightning is so aggressive. Normal weather temperature. Stormy weather increased critical hit chance. Oh. There's an extra kind of bar going on that I, I haven't really taken much note of. All right, let's do one more and then, I mean, I guess this is just for the gold. This is this is for all the marbles. There's there's a lot of depth going on. I mean, the the combat is uh, pretty simplistic, but I guess the a lot of the fun is in like how you progress your character, um, getting better armor, getting better weapons. It's, I, I would not say like, there's a lot of working parts, but overall, the gameplay is pretty simple. And I would even say maybe a little bit shallow, but that's totally fine. That You know, sometimes you want to just kick back with something fun <laughs> and not necessarily nail biting. It's It's got a little bit of tension in there, but like mostly your your decisions are reliant on like how much do you want to take on. Like you can, you can make this game really easy on yourself and just not fight things that are like much, much harder than yourself. But then again, uh, if you do that, are you going to advance quickly enough to be able to take on like the big bad? I have to assume once this, the, our 285 days are, are done, uh, or 300 in total, then you fight the boss and if you lose, it's it's game over. It, I, I have to assume it is something like that. Hopefully you're getting a, a good idea of what kind of game this is to uh, come to some kind of decision on whether or not you are gonna wanna pick it up. Looks like there's other features as well that I'm still not find, seeing, so. And as well as that, there's also a lot of features that seem to be not yet in the game. So I think that, uh, that there will be a few updates down the road for this game. So this was Swords and Sandals Immortals. If uh, you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.